Hello everyone. Um, today I am going to share a wonderful piece of software with you, you uh, which is called Equalizer APO. Uh, it might get overlooked uh, due to its appearance, but it's very powerful and uh, it's free. Of course, uh, I'm a fan of free things, um, open source, and you can find it uh, find it on internet. So I have given the link for this uh, piece of software. The installation is fairly easy and when you open it, you uh, see an interface like this. I know it looks a little bit uh, outdated, um, but uh, it's very powerful again. Okay, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to explore some of the basic things what we can do uh, with it and how we can do with it. Uh, again because there are very less uh, tutorials about uh, exploring this software so what we are going to do at first is close everything uh, there is a minus button when which can remove it and if you don't see the minus button you can click on this drop down arrow and remove and remove so we have closed everything else now I have this uh, little nifty piece of software sound lock it locks the ex um, levels of sound for example if I turn it on the sound will not go above this level but for in this video uh, I'm using this for demonstrating the copying of channels because it can show all the 5.1 channels um, that my system has so who um, is concerned with this with this video or who want to uh, look at this video are the people who know a little bit about 5.1 speaker setup or 7.1 uh, multi-channel setup and they may want to uh, do some stuff that's not usually normally possible with windows uh, built-in tools so may you may install third-party softwares there are some of them but they are not uh, usually open or as powerful as this one equalizer apo for example i have this sound card of uh, sound blaster rdg fx and its control panel that's installed with the driver is quite awesome uh, it does the uh, things that i want but i wanted to have a free solution so i can use it in the future with any software uh, any hardware sorry and uh, in this for example you want you can create of surround sound from 2.5 uh, two channels to 5.1 channels or depending on your hardware and it can crystallize smart volume and dialogue plus then it has the mixer to increase and decrease the volume for individual channel and last but not least the equalizer uh, where you can increase or decrease the frequency uh, response so what we are going to do is do all of these uh, or most of these things uh, in equalizer APO and let's see uh, what we get from it okay the first thing what we are going to do is add some modules by default there are going to be some here but we are st starting from the scratch and we are also going to close the analysis panel and let's say we have this blank canvas and click on the plus sign if you want to comment for example you want to name the section you can do that with the help of comment for example this section deals with surround tickety all right uh, so we have added this comment you can double click on it to add it whenever you want and then uh, for example i want to copy front channels uh, left and right channels to the rear left and right channels because i don't want to be them to be useless when i'm listening to my audio uh, so what we are going to do is copy channels again plus basic filters and copy now we have these number of channels and we have these red number of channels what we uh, we can do is simply left click on the left channel and drag it to the rear left now rear left is going to copy channel from the left channel we can do the same with the uh, right channel so I can copy the right channel from the front to the rear right. So let's say, let's try that and let's try to play the sound and let's click on. Let me turn on the volume. So now you can see there are four bars the rear left and rear right are copying the channels if i turn it this off and play it again 
you are going to see only two bars on the left hand side. So we can see that our this setup is effective and when I turn it on our rear left and rear right uh, gets the sound from front left and right but there is a catch in it if you are uh, a little bit into audio uh, you may know about the uh, phase of the so uh, sound when let me open paint so we have these two speakers and both of them are pardon my drawing here with the mouse and paint so both of them are facing towards each other so when the sound is played the speaker moves uh, outwards it creates this kind of wave and when this speaker move outwards it creates this kind of wave when they are both going to travel they are going to hit and since they both are equal uh, they are going to cancel each other out what we want is to reverse the phase so this speaker make a, makes a wave like this and the rear one rear right for example makes a wave like this so when they both touch either each other they are not cancelling it each other out so what we can do is rotate our phase we are rotating or flipping our sound signal from this to this for the rear channel how we can do that so uh, this is the visual version and if you come here you can see a paintbrush then there is a notepad type of icon which is uh, giving us the name of assignments and if we click on the assignment after turning it on now you have a little more detailed overview uh, of this area and what i want to do is it's telling me channel rear left is copying from channel left what i want to say is factor into channel now what the factor does is i can uh, reduce the volume or uh, you can say percentage of the data it's copying uh, between each channels but what i want to do here is revert it so i'm going to make it minus one and now both of these waves are opposite so they are not going to cancel each other out just like magnet same poles uh, repel and opposite poles attract and it's doing the same thing when both waves are uh, of equal um, what you can say equal quantity are hitting each other they are cancelling each other out you can uh, listen um, to it and you will feel the difference okay uh, we are going to do the same for the other channel and okay we are okay so it's not going to make much uh, difference here uh, but when you are playing you are going to feel the difference let's um, turn this off this is the part where we are copying uh, our left and right channel to the rear left and rear right so for example if you if you want to play uh, music uh, you, you may want to copy these channels into this one and for our purpose I turn this on at nights because uh, our sitting arrangement is near the rear speakers so we want to hear the sound from them instead of from these so we can reduce the volume and uh, not make too much noise so let's come to another thing what we can do is uh, because this piece of software is giving us quite a bit of uh, control over everything we are going to do the same thing basic filters copy between channels let's add a comment above this comment and let's say center um, center summon so we are summoning a center uh, channel which is going to be the sum of these both channels for example uh, what we want to do is let's say uh, we want we are for example uh, we are watching YouTube and uh, what we can do the from this is we can use the center speakers even when the content is not in the center so for me personally these speakers are close to me when I'm working so I want to use them uh, normally to hear things out and not uh, increase the volume on these ones because I have uh, larger speakers uh, around 8 inch speakers 
so let's say i want to copy the center channel to the center channel whenever there is an audio in in it and i want to copy also from left and right so let's say i want to copy from left and let's go to the assignments channel now the center channel is is equals to left channel and what i want to do is factor so let's say factor into channel and i want to copy half the audio from left side add sum and i want to copy half the audio from right channel now what it's doing let's go back to the normal view what it's doing is it's copying half of the audio from left channel and half of the audio from right channel it's combining both of these and sending it to the center so if you are watching youtube or any other thing or you want to music uh, hear music from the center channel as well so you can copy both of these summon both of these um, channels and add and use it in the center channel so now uh, wherever the sound is coming from it's going to be included in center channel so, so this way you can use uh, copy channel command now there is another uh, great thing uh, which is equalizer if we click on the plus sign and go to the equ graphic equalizers there are different type of graph equalizers 15 band 31 band uh, variable bands so we are going to go with the simple one 15 band equalizer here you can see different frequencies mentioned like uh, 25 hertz is quite low you may not be able to hear it but you can feel it in the speaker if you touch it. Uh, it it's kind of vibration even though humans can hear from 20 hertz onwards but it's not very audible uh, depends on the person to person uh, some people have golden ears as they say okay now, now this i like this frequency personally it's 40 hertz it's very deep bass and then we uh, have one kilohertz to 2.5 hertz it's the sound of our vocals depending on the again very person by person but usually the higher pitch is towards female voice and the lower pitch is towards male voice so this range contains the voice human voice and then we have this treble section 16 kilohertz is good enough after that you may not be able to hear much of the um, audio so it's sometimes not useful to go into that domain so whichever fee, uh, frequency you want to improve for example if you want to improve the improve the bass you can increase it but you may experience clipping because you are increasing the volume and the, your speaker may not be out, able to output it properly so if you are uh, hearing any funny sounds or strange sounds when you increase the frequency response what you can do is normalize it so i'm going to click on this button second button from the right normalize response uh, so what it, what happened that all the peaks came on to the zero line so nothing is instead of increasing the um, frequency response we are decreasing everything else so now it's uh, kind of like uh, it may not clip but usually that's also good enough uh, you can simply do that and check it out usually it doesn't happen that much often but just in case so if you want to uh, flatten the um, line again reset it you can go to the first button which says reset response and okay i have selected only this one i have to deselect that and it resets everything and i can import and export the presets so if you you can search for google for the configuration files of equalizer apu and you are going to get uh, quite some help uh, from the community one of the wonderful thing that i like about this software is uh, the ability to add vst uh, plugins so we can add different plugins there are tons of free plugins uh, you can use to do whatever you want uh, with the voice so what we are going to do is click on this browse icon and i have already downloaded two of these plugins that i normally use in the installation folder uh, program files equalizer apo vst plugins so these are both free uh, the links are in description so let's say let's go with the uh, reverb and the eco or the reverb so it's the easier one and click on the dll open 
so now nothing happens and that's because uh, we haven't embedded that you can open the panel and it will open an other window other window or you can embed that so when you embed uh, the panel it's going to appear in the same window of equalizer appear now by default you can change the default settings and it's going to give you different um, effects so there are quite a bit of knobs uh, you can increase the room size decrease the room size and it's going to affect how uh, the audio sounds uh, the echo sounds let's check another one out plugins PST plugin now I often use this one too this is sonic normally unlimited and let's embed that too this is a compressor and what compressor does is it reduces the uh, difference between extreme sounds like for example if you are watching a movie and the dialogue is very slow which is common nowadays you barely see hear the dialogue and all of the sudden there is a blast or if you are watching a horror movie and suddenly there are, uh, something happens and there is a loud bam on the door XYZ so <laughs> Uh, all of the sudden you hear quite a lot of noise uh, and while the dialogue is very low the noise is going to be yay high uh, you can uh, use the threshold and output uh, to control the maximum amount of volume so it's not going to allow uh, it to go up past a certain uh, volume let's say let's check it out So you, what you just saw is when I turned it off, the waveform was uh, moving at, as it should. And when I turned the threshold on, a compressor on, it was increasing every, it was increasing the volume to reach a certain height and then it was fixed. It was not going above that. So that's what compressor does. It uh, reduces the difference between the loudest ba uh, bangs and the smallest volume and these, these two knobs are important you can control uh, the input and output and how loud you want so uh, this is about uh, equalizer APU a great piece of software what I don't like or you can say what's a little bit uh, uh, unfavorable thing is that the remove button is just beside the power on and off so I have done this once and I accidentally click on the remove button to remove the uh, module uh, that's not a big deal but uh, it, it can get annoying so if this was some place here or I may have the uh, just like I can edit all the mod modules if I have the ability to customize the user interface that would have been awesome but it's an awesome piece of software all the kudos to all the people who have developed it it's a free piece of software and it con combines the elements of all of these third-party softwares which are not bad either uh, but it's it can be a, si a single place for all the solutions graphic equalizer compressor eco uh, combining front and back and you can do a lot more I have just scratched the tip of this uh, software so uh, why I have all of these still uh, because I am experimenting with it and I want to make sure I have all this uh, functionality that I am that I am achieving from various softwares for example maximum uh, volume uh, and uh, converting 2.2 channels to 5 channels I can do that with the help of this software and just to uh, just that additional information that I have uh, once built an amplifier with the Hafler matrix you can google on that Hafler matrix uh, which was hardware based uh, but with the help of this software I can do all that in um, in Windows so if I have, would have known that a uh, few years back uh, about this software I may not have gone through all the trouble of setting up the mat Hefler matrix and designing the circuit but uh, again uh, you are being uh, uh, taught about this new software and thank you for watching and enjoy using this software thank you